hey guys welcome to unix job ready programmer course now in this section we will see how we can download and install the unix system in our windows machine so that we will be able to practice the unix command in our windows system so in order to practice the unix command first we need to set up a unix environment in our windows system so in order to set up the unix environment in our windows system what we need to do is we need to first download the vmware workstation player in our windows 10 machine we will be downloading the ubuntu operating system file in our machine and then finally we have to download an application which is called putty from where you will be running your unix command all right so let us just do the first step the first step is download the vmware workstation player for windows 10 for that what you need to do is you need to go to google and here you need to type download vmware workstation player for windows 10 if you are using a windows machine then this is the solution for that we need to download the vmware workstation player you open that link once the link is opened here at the bottom we will be getting a link try workstation 16.0 player for windows we need to click on download now now once this particular exe file is downloaded you can simply install that file now in my machine the vmware workstation player is already installed so i'm not going to install this you just simply need to download it and it will be very easy to install this particular vmware workstation player now what is the second step the second step is that we need to download the ubuntu operating system file now in the resources section i will be giving you a particular link from that particular link you can download a ubuntu operating system zip file so here you can see that particular file which is ubuntu 01 underscore latest right this is the ubuntu operating system file you need to download this particular file if i see the size of the file the size of the file is around 10.6 gb so it's a very huge file size you need to have a good wi-fi connectivity or you need to have a good network connectivity in order to download this particular file now once that file is downloaded what you need to do is you just right click on this zip file and click on this option which is called extract to ubuntu 01 underscore latest slash once you extract this file this particular folder will be extracted right so simply we are doing nothing we are simply just extracting that zip file into a folder now let me go to that folder and let me open that folder once that zip file has been extracted here this particular ubuntu folder file size is also very huge so you make sure that in your hard drive a proper space is available now once that folder is extracted this file we need to extract from our vmware workstation player in order to run that virtual machine all right you can see what is the name of that particular file ubuntu 01 and the type of the file is vmware virtual machine configuration it is a 3 kbo file all right i hope till here the step is quite clear now once the vmware workstation player is downloaded and installed and once the ubuntu operating system file has been downloaded and unzipped then what we need to do is we need to open the vmware workstation player let me open the vmware workstation player this is the user interface of vmware workstation player now for the first time if you are configuring your ubuntu virtual machine you need to click on this option which is called open a virtual machine now once you click on open virtual machine it will be asking you for that vmware file let me paste the path where my vmware file is kept now i am into that folder where my vmware workstation file is kept you can simply just click on that file and you can open that file that ubuntu 01 vmware file will be browsed over here right once that file is available you can see that ubuntu 01 virtual machine file is available over here simply click over here and click on play virtual machine now it will start that particular ubuntu virtual machine on your windows operating system itself it will take certain time now once the file has been browsed you will see this window you simply click over there now here it will be asking me the password of that operating system 
So the password you need to give over here is root that is R O O T and press enter. See the Ubuntu virtual machine or the Ubuntu Unix operating system have started running, right? So here at the left hand side, you will be getting an option called terminal. You simply click over there and you will be seeing this window. Now you can start running your Unix command over here as well. But my recommendation will be you install an application which is called putty and from there you need to run your Unix command because from there it will be easy for you to run the Unix command, right? Now here in this terminal, what we need to do is we need to run a command called if config. The if config command will give you the IP address of this particular virtual machine. Here the IP address of this particular virtual machine is 192.168.17.40. You need to make a note of this IP address and we need to use this IP address in our putty application in order to connect with this particular virtual machine. Alright. Now what is the next step? The next step is download the putty application. Now in order to download the putty application, I will be giving you a link also in the resources section along with the Ubuntu operating system zip file link. You can simply download the putty application from that link itself. Now I have already installed my putty application. So I'll show you that how you can configure your putty application with the Ubuntu virtual machine. Now just give that particular IP address over here in the putty application 192.168.17.40 Now let me mind you that in your case the IP address will be different and in my case the IP address is different. So once you install the Ubuntu operating system in your machine, in your Windows machine, the IP address will be different. Now simply click on open, maximize this window. Now here it is asking me the login ID. Now the login ID will be Ubuntu 1. You need to give the same login ID that is Ubuntu 1 and the password will be root R O O T. Now see you are now connected to the Ubuntu operating system and you are good to run your Unix operating system commands. All right. Now, if you are not able to see the fonts over here, it is very easy to change the setting of this putty application. Now, just right click on this white bar and simply click on the change setting. Go to the appearance section and click on this change button. Now, whichever font size you want to keep, you can just select your font size. Let me make it 20 and click on OK and click on apply. Now you can see the font size has been increased, right? Now let me just simply run a simple command ls-lrt and press enter. Now you will be able to see all the files, the files which I have created in my Ubuntu operating system, right? So let me repeat the steps for you briefly. First you need to download the VMware workstation player. You need to download the Ubuntu operating system zip file. And after that, you have to open the VMware workstation player and from that VMware workstation player, you need to browse that particular operating system file. Once that file has been browsed, you will be able to log in into the Ubuntu virtual machine operating system, right? And you just open the terminal over here, fire the command if config, get the IP address, open your putty application, give the IP address over here. The user ID will be Ubuntu one, the password will be root and then you will be good to run the unix command over here all right now all the commands that we will be learning in this course i will be putting all those commands in the resources section in a file so that you can download the files and you can practice those commands and i will be putting all the pptes also in the resources section so that you can download those pptes now do not copy and run the command from those pptes Simply just copy the commands from the notepad file. I will be putting the notepad file over there. So just simply copy those commands from the notepad file and then only paste it over here. Now, even after that also, the commands are not working. The better idea will be that you just type the command over here and definitely those commands will be working. All right. 
Now in the next video, I will be showing you that how you can create a profile on the cloud environment if you want to run your Unix command. This is one method that I have just shown you that from the putty itself, you can simply run your command by installing a virtual machine. That is the first way. Second way is that you can create a profile online and on the cloud environment itself, you can run your command but there are certain restrictions over there so my suggestion will be that if you are able to install workstation player over here and if you are able to run your ubuntu system then it will be easy for you to practice over here in the putty but still if you do not want to do that then you can just simply go to that online cloud platform create a profile and you can run the unix command from there as well thanks for watching see you in the next section till then happy learning